Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again. So in this session, we will be discussing about the common trips and tricks that you have to be followed if you view an interview to any company. So this video is dedicated to all the freshers who is desperately looking for the information that has to be gathered for an interview. So before directly jumping to the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and the Instagram link, link in the description, link which you can please follow on the Instagram also. So friends, so in this session, we will be discussing about the common objectives which has to be followed if you are giving an interview to any MNC company, factory, or more, or even a startup also. So thinking about the objectives which has to be covered if you are giving an interview to any company. Please, resume, research and requirements, body language, attitude, communication, and followed by decision abilities. So we'll be discussing each single topic in depth regarding what has to be performed in order to overcome these all kind of objectives. So friends, now I've come. First, first comes is resume. Speaking about resume, see friends, in the interview, resume, resume is found to be the heart of the interview. Make sure your well your resume is well, well constructed. Okay. Now, first one is be truthful. See friends, before directly giving an interview, the HR or the interviewer will, will go through your every inch of your resume before inviting to an interview. So make sure you are ready for the every inch of the question that will be designated on the resume. Just because you have to get into the company doesn't mean you have to add uh, and all the non-essentials and just fake and all. For example, if you have hobbies regarding reading, just add reading. That doesn't mean you have to write reading, writing, swimming, fencing, everything. So that doesn't make sense. Perhaps if you get caught in that kind of objectives, it will be a little hard to find the truthful answer regarding that kind of scenarios. Next comes professional fonts. And speaking about fonts, so it is quite good enough to add professional fonts rather than making use of fancy fonts or if any kind of fonts that will be making some, some kind of uh, on essentials that looks funny and all. Please ensure that we make use of professional fonts which will be quite easier to learn and looks quite impressive. Next come compatible size and make sure your resume is not more much than two pages. So it is not necessary to make three, four pages because the interview will hardly give five minutes time to go through resume. He does not have time to read every inch of the point list. So he'll be go through the things that he requires. If the company is demanding for a specific set of skills that for the position, so he'll give an in-depth class regarding the work experiences, your education and your experiences and everything. So excluding the personal information and this summary and his career objectives. So excluding this, the other things are very extremely important. And make sure you write it small and sweet. And next heading some subheadings and make sure the headings will be on bold size and subheading will be on non bold size mm -hmm. and make sure that heading will be with the background color looks quite attractive yes. and next but not least photo speaking about the adding photo in the resume so i assume that adding photo or not adding photo does not make any sense until and unless your resume is exactly accurate of the position that you're looking for. Next comes personal details. And speaking about the personal details, I would recommend that adding a phone number, a Gmail address, and home address. Father name and mother name is much more than enough. It is not necessary to write the gender, date of birth, your workplace, your cash, and everything. So personal details uh, usually includes to send any kind of letter. I recommend that Gmail address, phone number, and home address is much more than enough the details that is required in the resume. And speaking about next objective that is research and requirement. So for this, before directly going to an interview, even if you don't know the any concepts that are position, they will have the people to train you. So before directly uh, giving an interview, make sure you give brief knowledge about the organization. As in, if the interviewer asks you, what do you know about this company? You have to, you need to have the valid and good answer. So it's better to know the history of the organization, the environment, how exactly, and the 
co-workers how exactly it's uh, how, exactly how co-workers works with what is the environment co-workers manageability organization team members managers and everything speaking about safety and security we have to ensure that all the uh, have to ensure that safety and security of the organization and next come the most important part is income make sure your salary will be get on paid and you will be have every rights to question regarding if there is any wrong that occurs in the income and the income will be detailed explained in the during the interview session and make sure that you come out with the interview with accurate answer of the income next uh, next about about the core topic as you said if you are giving an interview regarding the business development you have to ensure that what are all the advantages or what are just core tips and tricks and immediate a question regarding the business has to be ensured correctly that because if you go at if you go and the if the question is asked unknowingly you need to have the accurate answer nor or better answer which may be quite impressive and future goals you need to have a fixed future goals that means if they do ask you that uh, how do you like to see yourself in 5 years how do you like to see yourself in 10 years in an organization does you does your future belongs to all organization that you do you like to stick to or organization so if that kind of question may asked in session of interview you have to ensure that that your future goal will be stick to that particular organization that you are giving the interview next comes balanced life make sure that uh we ensure that if you're working in a company the professional life and for a personal life will be extremely balanced because uh spending a whole day in a professional life and spending a spending only sleep in the personal life does not balance your life and it also affects your peace of mind last but not least breaking period so in fact if you're working uh average in a week six days in a week you have to ensure that you need to take at least one week off day there are some companies we have that uh, if they are providing the extra salary that if you work more so doesn't mean you have to work every uh, seven days in a week so working at least in one day off in a week it will help you boost your brain so working seven days in a week what happens your mind will fix to the particular work that you use that you working for and it will not allow you to belong to the other activities next thing about body language what is body language friends see first come to us if you are giving an interview you have to ensure that every that your dress is well suited for your personality okay uh, formal is more than enough for freshers i am not trying to say that you need to put on blazer suits and everything a fit formal dress is more than enough and you have to ensure that all the buttons is clearly connected and the belt whatever it may be you have to ensure that as soon as you if the person looking at you he have to come to uh, the thing has to come to his mind that he is giving an interview okay so speaking about funky clothes tattoos please ensure that don't make this kind of stuffs next comes for sure or you friend you are speaking to a person or if the collaboration people has told to wait for a moment until the particular interview is arriving to this company if you're sitting or you're standing or if you're walking you have to ensure that your neck should be straight and your arms and your walking style should be extremely accurate and look fit and fine next body odor and this is the most important part uh, part friend i think there are some people who might have extremely lot of sweat glands they do smell bad even if they put out of deodorants and powder everything with a couple of hours they start to smell their odors you have to ensure that your body odor should not affect your interview next and not least sitting position friends assume if you are interviewing friends you have to ensure that that you are requesting for a job not you are demanding for a job there's a lot of difference between requesting for a job and demanding for a job the sitting position truly matters in this the sitting position if the hands are folded inside or 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 it's in your lap that shows that you are requesting for a job if your hands are on the table that shows that's quite not impressive that looks kind of intolerable that's it but not least eye contact if someone is talking to you friends so ensure that the eye contact will make a clear and good impression of the opposite person is talking to you 
and speaking about the attitude the most important part of any every interview no matter if you are giving to mnc if you are giving to startups if you are giving to any government organizations if you are giving to the non government organizations if you are giving to a startup order it will be first comes confidence speaking about confidence i am not trying to say that you need to be quick in everything you have to ensure that whatever you say it's on your words you should never go back on your words and if you don't know the answer just say i don't know about it there is no need to lie and try to convince the people that you really know the answer if you don't know the answer try to convince them that i don't know i may let you know it doesn't you know you to fake yourself that by saying i know everything and trying to convince that i really know that particular question you are asking for so confidence here matters that what exactly you're talking about if you're talking something or explaining something so the each and every word should be clearly understood to the person that is hearing to you next short and smart responses this is the most important for us assume if you are question about anything you have to ensure that your answer should be short and smart i'm not trying to say that dragging the same answer for 2 minutes 3 minutes does not make any sense no matter how big the question is the interview will not hear you more than a minute so that shows that for a small question dragging this long so the opposite person will feel bored he'll not be impressed he'll start to get bored and he'll cut in the moment and go for the next question next quick replies and if they if the question is asked you friend you have to ensure that hardly it has span of 3 seconds make sure you give a response thinking for 5 minutes 6 minutes 7 minutes does not make any sense and that is not that's not the way of impressing an interviewer and next self pride self esteem Okay, friends. There are some people that who don't have any medals, scholarship, and everything. That doesn't mean that you may look down. Okay, if you are good at something and make sure that that is completely and neatly described in the resume, and if the question is as particular on that thing, even if it may be your hobbies or it may be your extracurricular activities, to ensure that you should be pride enough in that particular matter. And next comes time management. and speaking about time management not only before the interview even after you get the, get the job friends you have to ensure that your time management should, should be good enough um arriving to the company 15 minutes early that shows you respect the time arriving 45 minutes one hour early to the office that shows you are wasting your time so arriving 15 minutes late and 30 minutes late that shows you are giving an excuses so you have to ensure that 15 minutes early to the office is Called as a time management skills. You have to ensure that time management is one of the most one of the most based priorities. This attitude. And next, but not least, working skills. If you are good at something, friends, you have to ensure that no matter what kind of question will be asked, the particular skill that you are good at should be capable enough for answer, and you should be capable enough of answering among all best among all the candidates that are competed for. Next, but not least. Communication, the most important factor in the interview. First one, speak quickly. Assume for if you are going for interview, that you are requesting for a job rather than demanding for a job. So if you are asking us something, can you please pass a pen? Can you please give me a pen? Other than give me a pen, so that plus that makes a lot of difference in the communication. Can you please give me a pen? That is a professional way of asking a pen. Please give me a pen. That is not a completely professional way of Communicating with people. Next, settle smile on your face. I'm not trying to say that you have to smile 24 hours in a day. A gentle smile of for every single person that have eye contact you that shows that you are really calm person. That affects more on your attitude and your professional life. Next, weekend. After the interview, friends, even if you know that you are not selected for the particular job, ensure that that you shake hands with the particular interviewer and leave the room. no matter even if even if he is a ceo manager assistant manager managing director who it will be ensure that before going to leaving the uh, office or interview ensure that shaking hands is a professional way of communicating with people next greeting others so speaking friends assume if you are 
walking into your room you start with good morning hi how are you have breakfast coffee so that shows that you have some care and concern regarding the colleagues and co-workers that shows in the future also you'll be sharing this care and concern at the same way that you show to your family members last but not least make the first move and this is the first move Think about adult friends assume you met a new guy in the office or in interview assume even if he is not talking well so you make the first move good morning have a great course so making the first move that doesn't affect your self-respect perhaps that shows you are not at all an attitude person that is the most important important part of the communication that shows you are qualified enough to fit for this job last but not least decision making abilities first comes algorithm rules See friends, assume if your if the question is asked, how do you see yourself in 10 years? Or what would you like to see yourself in 10 years? What reason would you like to work after in 10 years? So you have to have clear cut knowledge about that. Even, even the company has nothing to do with this question, but it also involves in confidences. So what I'm trying to say is ensure that you have the short answer for the algorithm tools of your particular life. Next come ensurement of consequences as a man if you're working for a plan or project there will be possibilities of failures so you have to ensure friends that if this project fails so there will be a plan b if the plan a fails there will be a plan b you have to ensure that you have to ensure that there will be a backup for everything quick result as in friends, if you made a particular decision so you have to ensure that you should give a quick results i'm not going to say that if I work today, I should get salary next day. What I'm trying to say is it, it should not take. If the process is taking six months, so you have to show results in six months. So as in two months extra, six months extra, it's a kind of excuses that you're making. If you're working exactly 100% in a day, make sure the result will be also 100%. Last but not least, coding short course. It's because you have to finish the task and uh, not get complained, no excuses. That doesn't mean you have to get shortcuts and illegal activities into a mission that doesn't make any sense. So friends, this is the end of the session. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share the video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day, friends.